everybody, and welcome to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games, and in this episode, we play... Bubble Bobble Part 2. Taito, 1993. I, you know, I feel like it's kind of funny that our random game picker usually picks sequels before we get the originals. I guess that's in the nature of being random, but such is the case. Now it's the beginning of a fantastic story. Let's make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck! If I remember correctly, it's been so long since I've played Bubble Bobble, but if I remember correctly, this plays ah, much like the original, just with better graphics. So we have to hit them twice, right? No, we'll just pop them. Yeah, there we go. Jerk. No, no, get get the get the ice cream before it teleports me up to the next stage. And then this goes on for stage after stage, but we'll see what kind of challenges we can run into. Taito's always been. One of my top picks ah, for game design, and puzzle game design at that. And Bub and Bob are some of my favorite characters in some of my favorite favorite games to play, like... I have to wait for him to come back down. We can't get up there, can we? Or can we fall down at the bottom? Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, Bust a Move. I love Bust a Move. The arcade edition. What a lovely game. All right, we got spring guys coming in. Let's take care of these guys first. All right. These weird butt and phallus shaped foods. I wish we can hit down, uh, hit down and jump to jump downward. We can at least jump up that way. No. Ah, there we go. Get him. Get up there and get him. Ha ha. Yay. Clear. One thing I always found funny was at first you feel like a stage might be more complicated because of how many platforms there are. It would feel difficult to navigate, and that's partially true ah, when it comes to navigating downward. But if you're at the bottom of the screen, the world is your oyster. Because you can jump up through any of those platforms. No! At least his hat wasn't some separate thing. Okay. Is that a mechanic I'd forgotten about? Can you jump on top of a bubble and jump higher? I want to try it. Boing. No. Maybe. I wasn't holding jump when I did it, but it looked like I had done it before. I don't know. I'll try it in a moment when I can. Let's get this flying guy. He's our biggest threat. There we go. Those guys' hats with the needles in them are also a pain. I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, if you take your time with this game, I mean, because at its heart, it is a puzzle game. If you take your time with it, then you're bound to find the solution. There we go. Can we jump off? Yeah, if you hold jump, you can jump off of the bubbles. Good. Awesome. Let's get our bonuses and move on. Kind of neat. I can't really tell what that's supposed to be. Can I? Ha! Ah, sort of almost happened. Also almost killed me. Nope. Let's get up here. Have to get around and get in there. No! I wonder if we can... Ah. Oh, I keep wanting to jump away from the fire, but apparently we're safe right there. Nope! 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 That's a tough one. I'm gonna continue. There's no sense in not letting us continue in the stage that we're on, because if I remember correctly, after a stage is over, you can totally... Let's get in between here. Yeah, there we go. After stage is over, you can... Or after you... After you die... I, I forget exactly how it works. Either it's after you die and choose to try again or something. I know that at some point you can pick what stage you start on. I don't, know, I don't remember if you've had to make it to it before or not. I don't think so. It could also just be the first Bubble Bobble. I always felt... Oh, I stood there before. I always felt that it should be an incentive to complete, you know, a stage. You know, can't can't choose a stage. You have to you have to still have the mystery of what stage you're going to see next. Uh, so you want to unlock it by beating stages. 
But I remember at least in the first Bubble Bobble, you can pick your stage. Nope. Ugh. Close one. All right. Let's try to take him out if we can. There we go. And I didn't see it in the intro menu of this one, but I don't know if it's after you game over and continue or not, or, or how that works. Corn. I apologize, it took forever to get that thought out. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's fall down on these guys. No! That was not very smart of me. Let's just shoot while we jump. If something ends up in front of us, then we can take it out. Okay, those guys are going to be... Okay, I was going to say, they're going to have trouble getting back up. But they seem to have no problem getting down through the floor. He's going to come down over here, isn't he? Yeah! Give me that bell pepper. What do we got here? Ah, another fire guy. I don't like you, fire guy. I'm taking you out early. Why can't we stand on the... Get up there. Ah! How am I supposed to take him out? Why are Bub and Bob put in this gauntlet of hell? Come on, I want to get up in there. Barely. There's like one place you can stand. Jeez. Alright. Pop that. Pop it. I don't remember if that kills enemies or not. Let's take him out. Yeah. Nice. I'm just glad to be done with that stage. A lot of stages, as they get more difficult, just end with that same sentiment. I'm just glad to be done with it. The end. I think something happens to the enemies if you leave them in the bubbles for too long. I don't recall what, if they come out more f fast or ferocious or red or something like that, but I could be thinking of another game as well. But I get the feeling you want to go after them and finish them off and not leave them in the bubbles for too long. I might experiment with an easy guy, like one of these wind-up guys. Oh, okay, we have bosses. That's awesome. Can we just... I really want to be able to hit down and jump. I'm, I'm feeling Smash Brothers style platforming in this, and I can't... Ah, oh, I have to hit him in the white part of his head? Can I just do that? Ah, there we go. Come on up. How many times do I have to hit him? Come on. You're gonna fall. Jump back up. Jerk! No! Ah. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I don't wanna start all the way over on how many times I have to hit him. Because apparently it's a lot. Jump up! Do you have a set path, or are you just like... Gonna be a jerk and jump up right when I'm on top of you? Go under! Nice! Blow his head up. And it's just him. I'm gonna leave him in that for a minute. See what he does. I kind of just want to know. Take a sip of my drink here. <sighs> Maybe it's nothing? I don't know. At least I know that I have a lot of time if it is something. Come on. <laughs> I want that Sunday. We'll do another stage. We'll just do one more. Round 11. I think there's 100, if not more. The original, I think, had 100. I could be thinking of Ice Climbers. It's very Ice Climbers-esque in its number, stage numbering and, and whatnot. And I might also be thinking of Ice Climbers when I think of being able to pick the stage. However, I could swear that at one point I was picking what stage I wanted to play on um, Bubble Bobble. Let's get over here. Ah, close. No, I wanted it to fall on the other side. I think I want to use the liquid to take this guy out, but I need to pop it over me here if it'll come over here. It doesn't, does it? No, how do I direct it? Is it the direction I'm facing? Can I do it this way? Ah. All right, let's stand here. Or maybe I could just jump down next to him now. He's, his buddy's gone. There we go. That works. Well, we can't get, I mean, I guess we can get out of here. Yeah, there we go. No! <laughs> just get that peach butt fruit thing. Alright, I just said I'd do one more, so that's it for me now. 
But I like how the stages are kind of like later designed to look like enemies. What the hell is that thing? All right, I'll do this one just to beat whatever the hell that thing is. Looks like Mechanoid Mewtwo on crack. Ah, Chain Chompy. Let's get these bananas, and then we'll just take them out from a distance if we can. Can we hit him from over here? Maybe. Just get over. Ah, that sucked. Let's get over here on this and start shooting at him. Okay, we can hit him without getting bitten by him if we just wait. Ah. I just feel like his... I feel like he can reach that far. We also want to make sure that all of our bubbles hit him. Because when the bubbles come back at you, they push you off. Die. He's like a... He's like a boss. Alright. Well, that's it for, uh... That's it for Bubble Bobble Part 2. Uh, here in the near future, maybe we'll see Bubble Bobble Part 1. Uh, we're 112 episodes in so far, and we still have over 600 games to play. So I'll see you next time.